Hello and welcome Libra. This is your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, please like, subscribe and share. It would help us grow the channel. Thank you so much. And just a reminder that um, I think I mentioned already a couple of times um, that I have collaborated with a friend of mine on a 38 card or 38 spirit animal guide oracle deck card um to be fair um and it's now all done and what happened is we're having a kickstarter campaign campaign on that only runs until the end of this month so if you would like us uh, would like to help us to turn these uh, this beautiful deck into reality please 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 do so it is time to pledge now because it only runs until the end of the month and you will see this over here um in the, the screen Right, and with no further ado, let's just dive right in. Um, Libra's what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, before we go into the uh, your emotional core, before we then finally go into opportunities. Right, so let's have a look at the overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of September 2022. Now, you have the High Priestess, and this is the Atlantis deck that I'm using uh, at the moment here. By Diana Cooper, you have the High Priestess. And so this is about understanding who you are when you look at your higher self. So the point is what they're saying to you, what the guides are saying to you is this month in September, Librans, your whole sign, everything in your star sign, is about harmony and balance. And yet, there is a part of you that doesn't quite claim that for yourself. And because you have the High Priestess, which is a revered figure in um, Atlantean uh, uh, society or lower, what you are being asked is to remember how awesome you are, remember how spiritually high you actually idling, and then claim that. Make sure that people treat you with respect, including yourself. Really, really important. So the point I'm getting is, whatever is going on in your life, if you feel like, you know, I'm being disrespected here and uh, people don't take me seriously, now is the time to stand up because you are deserving of being treated with respect. And in this poxy world, <laughs> the only way to get it, unfortunately, um, seems to be by claiming it. And that's what the guides are asking me to do, claim it, right? So now we're going into the um, emotional core, see what's coming up with um, what needs to go, um, you know, if there's old pain that can be released, or maybe this is about love. I only ever know when the guides talk, if that makes sense. So let's see what we got. And we got allies, which is nature. So what I'm getting here for you is, is when it comes to your emotional core, nature is your biggest ally. That sounds a bit um, simplified, but it is actually not, because the whole idea is that we come from the stars and then the, the universe sort of formed t uh, over 12 uh, billion years ago. Then it took 9 billion years for life to start. Um, and we are sort of the latest, <laughs> um, the latest thing when it comes to, to life. So we are the children of the universe but we also are the universe experience it's experiencing itself so as everything progresses um, the the way to go forward is by going backwards so with regards to your emotional core what they're saying to you is remember that you come from the stars remember that you need to breathe remember that everything you do has to be done grounded so there is soil here we you know with our star signs that we have we have four elements um you know uh, and that seems to be important too you know um so what the guides are saying to you is is reconnect to who you are and what it is you want to let go or what it is you wish to manifest by spending a lot of time um in in nature and it may sound a bit weird that this sort of comes up in a reading but look at the world that we're living in here sort of in, 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 in sort of the, the European sense. And even though, although I live in England, um, geographically speaking, you know, uh, it is still in Europe. So the point I'm making is 
um, the, or the, the, the point the guides are trying to make is that don't don't just look at what you see around you you know so the infrastructures that we have created um, may not be uh, unimportant for, for you to survive. You know, there's a shop next door and you can buy your food and there's a dentist and there's all these things. Um, so the, I'm not hearing the guys knocking it. What I'm hearing is for you to understand that being in this man-made, in this man-made world has its drawbacks for you when it comes to really figuring out how, who you are, how you tick, how you can manifest back best and the point the guides are making is the way to manifest best is by starting anew and manifesting anew and the best way to do this um, would be for you Librans to actually be in nature really really important okie dokie so lastly we're going into the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2022 for your very sign of Libra and for the most part uh, cards are falling out unfortunately there were tons of them <laughs> um, for the most part this will very likely be about whatever it is that sustains you sort of financially that sort of opportunities but then again I only work here which means I become the parent medium means the guy in the middle and uh, or the guy in between and um, so I just see what the guys have to say if that makes sense, and then interpret this, it the way I hear it. In any case, you have recording crystals for your opportunities. Now, with regards to recording crystals, the idea is that crystals are alive and that crystals have energy and they record and they're also being recorded uh, for the Akashic Records. Cut a long story short, you probably have heard of a term called the stone tape theory. The stone tape theory means that whatever happens um, inside buildings um, is energetically speaking recorded, especially if it is very high or very low in energy. And when you are sensitive in, and you are in these buildings or you touch the, the, the stone walls, for instance, um, it can be played back to you. So it's not life. There's nobody coming out of the wall most of the time. This is more um, a played back scenario. And this is why it's called the stone tape theory. So with recording crystals, what the guides are saying to you is, now pay attention to what your life and you being in it has recorded thus far. So this is about, before you hope for opportunities, it's about reflecting what I have so far manifested, the things I have so far done. Before I commit further, how happy am I continuing to do that? So what the guides are asking you, you're asking for opportunities, maybe about uh, stuff that you don't really like doing. So maybe you're a bit trapped thinking, you know, if I can get a better job, then I can pay better for this and money is not a spiritual currency, you can't manifest money. So what the guides are saying is maybe it is because you're not following your dreams. Maybe it is because you're not doing what you should be doing, knowing who you truly are. Um, that they're now asking you before you do anything else is to reflect. And also because you have recording crystals as a term, it is a good time, which also hawks back to the very fact that they want you in nature. Um, is to recharge your batteries and then replay scenarios without having to relive them. But really, really important in the month of September for Libras, apparently, is for you to um, not rethink as such, but retrace some of your steps to, to see not necessarily where you've gone wrong, but, you know, what's, what has happened? What, what made me get to this point here? If that makes sense. So again, really, really important for you to to um, really look at at your life um, on a whole, right? And and reflect on your life on a whole uh, before you're asking for opportunities. And then you probably manifest better, and you'll get more. In any case, Librans. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. And please, please, please don't forget 
that we're having a Kickstarter that would be absolutely phenomenal if we could have that deck that we worked tirelessly on uh, turn into reality. Um, that all said, right? See you next month. Bye bye.